Hello, 6th graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, 7th grade math, section 5.3, Writing Proportions, lesson. Pause while you write the lesson number and title in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your notebook. Today's objective is, I can write and solve a proportion by completing Big Ideas Math practice with 100% accuracy in multiple attempts. Pause again while you write this key idea in your math notebook. It's probably best that you write it in your words worth knowing section because it is definitions. A proportion is an equation stating that two ratios are equivalent. Two quantities that form a proportion are proportional. Remember to write the example. The numbers 2 over 3 equal 4 over 6. The proportion is red. 2 is to 3 as 4 is to 6. Let's take a look at example 1. We're determining whether rates form a proportion. So really it's asking us whether or not the two ratios or the two fractions are equivalent. So this is something you have done before in the past. So it says compare the ratios in simplest form. So 6 fourths equals 6 over 4. Um, and if you divide the top and the bottom by 2, you get 3 halves, and 8 twelfths equals 8 over 2, and you divide the top and the bottom by 4, and you get 2 thirds. So those ratios, not equivalent. So 6 fourths and 8 twelfths do not form a proportion. Um, there is a quick and easy way to do this, which is shown later in the lesson, um, but you know how to do equivalent fractions. So you know how to do this already. Now we're going to look at whether two quantities are proportional. Uh, this is example two. And let's take a look at the note over here where it says that two quantities that are proportional are in a proportional relationship. This is extremely similar to what we just did in example one. Uh, so it says compare each ratio x to y in simplest form. So if you look at 1 half and 3, we have 1 we have a situation where we put the x on the top and the y on the bottom. So we're going to do that with each of our sets of numbers over here. So 1 half over 3, and if we simplify that, it becomes 1 sixth, and 1 over 6 is 1 sixth, and 3 halves divided by 9 equals 1 sixth, and 2 divided by 12 is 1 sixth. So all of these ratios are equivalent, because when you simplify them, they equal the same thing. So they are proportional. Now I want you to take a moment and write this in your notebook. This is what I was telling you was in your lesson later, which is a quick and easy way to see if things are equivalent. So it says cross products in the proportion a over b equals c over d, the products a times d and b times c are called cross products. So it says the cross products property, the cross products of a proportion are equal. So 2 times 6 equals 3 times 4, because 2 times 6 equals 12, and 3 times 4 equals 12. And it tells us A times D equals B times C, as long as B and D are not zero because you're not allowed to divide by zero. So what this means for you is that you can check and see if ratios are a proportion if they're equivalent by just cross multiplying. So if you aren't sure, you can just cross multiply and if you're two cross products are equal, then it's a proportional relationship. So 
here's your study tip over here. It says you can use the multiplication property of equality to show that the cross products are equal. Here it shows you all this nice math that proves it for you. So you can write that all in your notebook. Now let's move on with example number three, identifying proportional relationships. You swim your first four laps in 2.4 minutes. You complete 16 laps in 12 minutes. Is the number of laps proportional to your time? So method one, you can compare the unit rates. So 2.4, we're dividing by four because to make that four into one, you have to divide by four. So if you do that to the bottom, you have to do the same thing to the top. And so that gives you 0.6 minutes per lap. There we go. And if you swim 16 laps in 12 minutes, then you're going to divide the bottom by 16 and the top by 16, and that's 0.75 minutes per lap. So those two unit rates are not equivalent. So the number of laps is not proportional to the time. Method two, you're going to use the cross products property. So this is one of those things where you can do either one. So you line up your two. You have to be sure that you have minutes on the top and laps on the bottom in both fractions. So you don't want to mix up your units. So then you would take 2.4 times 16 and you're seeing if that is equal to 4 times 12. So you're cross multiplying. And 2.4 times 16 is 38.4. That does not equal 48. So the cross products are not equal. So the number of laps is not proportional. Remember, to earn credit for viewing your flipped lesson, you need to complete your notes in your ISN, complete your Big Ideas Math assignment in your math notebook, and submit that when it is 100% correct, and visit your teacher if you have any questions.